First things first, we want to look at your range of motion. Typically there is a loss of range of motion, um, as well as some changes in mechanics. So one of the things that we'll see is what we call a shoulder hike. So when someone goes to raise their shoulder, they'll engage their upper trap muscle, kind of hike the shoulder like this. So we'll kind of try to pattern you out of that as we work on your range of motion. We start with what are called passive exercises. So something like a table side where you are using your body weight to gain your range of motion. Work towards active assisted exercises, something like walking your hand up the wall. So it's still anti-gravity, but those muscles do get to engage. And then all the way up to an active range of motion exercise where you're lifting your arm on your own. From there, and once we've gained your motion, then we start on strengthening. Um, we try to isolate the rotator cuff first. Sometimes this involves theraband exercises, dumbbell weights, we work into box lifting and things like that. So taking you as a patient into consideration and what it is that you want to be able to do in the long term. We use pain as a guide trying to get the muscle, the strength to fatigue in order to build that strength back. One of the common questions we get is, does the rotator cuff heal? Well, it's not gonna go back to where it was initially. It will typically scar down and remodel with time. We'll work on kind of moving the tissues around, but probably not gonna go back to where it was when you were 15 years old, and that's okay. Um, the goal is to kind of progressively increase your exercises and your activity levels to get you back to where you need to be. Now there are cases where we're not going to fix you and that's where it's great to work in a practice where we have the doctors here constantly communicating with them. Um, you know if we see our patients not progressing sometimes they'll give us recommendations or sometimes it's hey send them back to see me you know we may need to consider surgery here. Some of the signs that you should be considering surgery you know six to twelve months no improvements in pain, no improvements in function. Um, typically younger individuals that either have jobs where they have to lift a lot or are playing a sport. With older individuals, we try to get you back to your function without needing surgery as there are some risks involved. Patients with rotator cuff injuries, the outcomes are normally pretty good. Research does show that with even full thickness tears, on a five year span, patients that just participated in physical therapy, now this is that they're following their home exercise programs and doing what they're supposed to, um, as well as those who had surgery at about a five year outcome, they're pretty comparable as far as their function is concerned. 